Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig running Twister OS, and uh, I've shown videos before running Steam Link, uh, which is a way of running Steam games on your home network from another PC. Uh, but today I'm going to have a look at Steam running natively, which is already installed in Twister OS. And I've tried it before in the past, and it didn't work, um, but I revisit it, and I'll show you the results. So the Twister OS team has got this working by using Box86 to run x86 Linux programs on an ARM processor, which is what the Pi uses. So let's start it up, and you can see it comes up with this mini menu. So this is a list of all the games that I've ever downloaded on this Steam account, and uh, you can see that some of them are greyed out because they're not installed, and some of them are highlighted in white because they are installed. Now, installing them doesn't mean it's going to work. Obviously, this is quite the feat that they've got Steam Store working uh, on a Raspberry Pi with an ARM processor. I'm, I'm still quite amazed by it, uh, but it does seem to work. It's not perfect, um, and uh, if I click on, say for instance, uh, large mode, then it comes up with this see the support article, and this is how you would download games and have a search for things and, and check things out and ch check specifications and things like that. So that doesn't work, but if we use this small mode, which it obviously defaults to, it just comes up like this straight away, and if you've got Steam games in there that are compatible, then they're going to run. So some games like uh, Super Crate Box works really well. Uh, I'm going to lower the desktop resolution before I play that because at 1080 I think it's maybe a bit too high. I'm going to lower it, lower it down to 720. Um, but I also managed to install Moto Racer Collection, which is a Windows-only Steam game. It's not compatible with Linux, um, but it doesn't run and a lot of things don't run and a lot of things don't install. But I figured that other people may have tried this and had games working, so it'd be good in the comments to add what games you got running on Steam on the Raspberry Pi because there's so many games on the Steam store and obviously rather than buying all of them, it'd be nice to know if things do run. So if I try and right click on a game, so say this cross out here, and install game. Something's just come up with an error saying it's not compatible. Now Crossout is a Windows only game and so it seems to be detecting that. It knows that it's running on Linux uh, but there is this Steam compatibility layer and I did try it on a few games and it didn't seem to work well for me but I don't know if they've sort of factored that into this build. But basically this enables you to play Steam games on other platforms. So if they're designed just for Windows, I tried it on Manjaro on one of my mini PC videos and it actually ran really, really well. I was surprised at how well it ran. But obviously we've got another variable here in that we're running on an ARM processor. So it's, it's just getting more and more uh, that it shouldn't work, but some things do. So if I go to the top here and help and system information, I thought this was interesting. So manufacturer unknown, form factor desktop, uh, CPU brand look, uh, Intel Pentium 4 2200. So this must be the settings that Box86 is telling it. CPU family, speed 2200, four logical processors, 16 physical processors, and some things are supported, you can see here, but some things are unsupported. So uh, operating system, Raspbian, Linux, Steam runtime version, video cardlet, V3D 4.2, Mesa driver, OpenGL, sound card, so everything is listed, it's even showing up with my 8 gig of RAM as well. So let's run a game that I know does work. Uh, so if I go into settings, and display, and I can drop that down to 720. Uh, you just tend to find that games run better at a lower resolution. So as you can hear, the audio is working fine, uh, and it runs nice and fast. But it is difficult. Uh, so I would definitely, I would redefine the keys as well. Well, that was nice. But you can see speed wise, uh, it definitely seems to be working exactly as it, oh, that's too much. God, it is so difficult as a game but definitely enjoyable to play. Um, but And it's, this is running way, way better than I've had it running on Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4. So it's, it's really nice to see a game running so well. And it probably means that I need to look, let's just quit out of that. Probably means that I need to look at uh, running more Linux games rather than Windows games. But let's have a look at some Windows games and show you what happens.
So if I pick something like Flat Out 2, which is quite a decent looking game, uh, and see what it does. Sometimes you get this error coming up, processing Vulcan shaders, and uh, sometimes it goes past it, sometimes it doesn't. But if I skip that, yeah, I'd say that looks like it's crashed. And I sometimes do get this, and it doesn't seem to be able to recover from this. Okay, so I had to restart, and I'm just starting Steam again. This is how it starts up. Uh, it usually does an update as well, so uh, it updates to the latest version of Steam on startup, but obviously I've been running it just now, so it knows there's no newer version to run. So if we pick something else, uh, so Counter-Strike, uh, if I double click on that, so this I think is also, oh okay, so Counter-Strike wasn't uh, installed. I'm pretty sure I had it before and it didn't work, um, but you can see that's now trying to install and launch the game. Manage downloads. So this screen comes up all right, so this comes up as if it's installing normally. Uh, but I don't know if it will let me look at any more. Yeah, it doesn't seem to give me as much details as it would normally have. But yeah, you can see that that's working. 39 minutes. So let's go back to... Well, it, so if I try library now, because this bit's working, yeah, that still doesn't work. So view and small mode. So let's try CS2D. You can see it starts off all right, but then I'm pretty sure this one crashes out. Yeah, so it crashes out of the game, and that is a Windows or Linux game, but that's also available through Twister OS through the web browser. Obviously, it would be nice if you can install it natively, but that wasn't working. So Gene Shift, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't launch. Uh, Moto Racer comes up looking like it's going to work. If we do view updates, what does it do? Uh, no, no, it doesn't work on that. So go back to that small mode and play game. So an error occurred. Now, this is a Windows only game, so we would need to use that compatibility layer. So I'll come back to that in a second. Let's flick down through. But most of the games I think I tried, actually Terraria is probably a Linux game. Yeah, it is listed as a Linux game, but as you can see, it doesn't seem to, to launch. Think to Die, I also installed. Play game, error occurred. So a lot of things aren't working, but to be fair, I have tried a lot of Windows game because that's what I had in my Steam store. So maybe I need to go back through uh, on a Linux distro and uh, put a few things in there. If you can suggest in the comments what games, uh, you know, maybe a bit older games, maybe they're more likely to play. But let's try that compatibility for uh, Moto Racer and just see, because uh, that's a pretty old game. So settings. Go down to Steam Play, enable Steam Play, and you can see here we've got various different levels. Uh, I guess if we go not for the most recent, so I need to restart Steam for this to take effect. And it looks like that works fine, so that is restarting Steam. You can see it disappeared from the taskbar there. Yeah, and it is restarting on its own. So now I've got this compatibility layer on, is it going to work differently with some of the games? So. Moto Racer Collection, double click on that. Looks like it wants to download, oh, because I changed the compatibility layer, it's downloading that to be able to play the game, or at least to try and play the game. Oh, and it looks like it needs to uh, update Moto Racer, which is weird, because I installed this the other day, so it just needs a little bit extra. Okay, so that's finished downloading, let's hit play game. An error occurred, <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, so now we've got that compatibility layer on, Let's try flat out again. I'm going to leave it and see if it uh, error occurred. C2SD. So it looks very promising. Looks like it's going to work. Yeah, but then it quits out. Terraria. But we have another option, and that is to close down Steam and uh, try it with Wine. So Wine is on here. So if I start typing Wine, there you go. So I've got Wine desktop here. And I've already done previous videos on Wine showing how this works and certain things work really well. But because we've installed things with Steam, uh, especially the Windows ones, there is a possibility they'll work within Wine. Uh, and it would just be a case of navigating to them. So let's have a look at programs. You can see I've got some uh, programs in here from a previous video. Okay, so I've been playing around and I seem to have found the folder that's got all the Steam games installed into it. And I thought I'd try them uh, with wine and see if I had some success with that. Uh, so you can see here, 
Um, I've got uh, Moto Racer Collection, for instance, and you can see all the folders and things in there. But if I go back, I'm going to copy Flat Out 2 and just see if that will work within Wine. So copy that, go back to the desktop, and put it in my Windows Games folder. You can see I've got some stuff in here already, uh, which I've done on a previous video. Let's paste that in. Yeah, 3.1 gigs, so that must be all the game files. I have no idea if this is going to work, but it has worked with uh, copying from a Windows computer, uh, locating the files, and then copying them over to this folder in Twister OS. So it's just, it's just a chance that it may work, may launch. Okay, so that's nearly copied over, so let's close all this down. So this desktop folder, uh, Windows Games, I've put various things in, and that shows up in Wine. So let's close this down because we don't want to run anything extra. Uh, and let's do a search for Wine and run Wine Desktop. And in my F folder, I've got Home, Pi, Desktop, Windows 10 Games, or Windows Games. Uh, and then, uh, so flat out to, and then we just need to find the exe file, and let's try that. Failed to find Steam. Yeah, so when I did it from the Windows computer, uh, I just showed the location of the game and copied it from there, but it didn't seem to give me the option uh, within Steam on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to have to do some more digging. But let me know how much success you have running Linux games, or if you do have some success running some Windows games through Steam. Uh, it's definitely nice to see it getting there, and it's really nice to see Super Crate Box running so well. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.